this video, I'm going to show you two additional features uh, that we can use with Sweet Home 3D. The first is going to be adding additional flo floors or levels, and the other is going to be creating uh, high resolution renderings of our design. Now, if you need a refresher of how to use Sweet Home 3D, you can search on my YouTube channel, Sweet Home 3D Intro, and it'll walk you through uh, the beginning to end of creating a simple room. So on the screen right now I have uh, just a, a basic rectangular room that I'm calling the first floor and I've added a, a texture and some colors to the walls just so we can see the differences between the first floor and the second floor as we create our design. So to create a second floor or another level what I want to do is go up into the toolbar and click on the plan tab here and if I scroll down I have an option for add level. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add level you notice that this does a couple things. All right? First of all, it takes our existing level that's below it now, and it kind of grays it out and it gives us a reference. We'll come back to this in a moment. But another thing that it does is it adds these other tabs just above our 2D view. All right? So in this case, level one is gonna be above level zero. So level zero is my first floor level, and level one is gonna be my second floor level. Now, in order to make a second floor level that's exactly the same size as my first floor level, I'm going to use this little ghosted out area to my benefit. So to do that, first thing I want to do is start creating walls that are the exact same dimensions as the level below it. So to do that, I'm going to, just like before, I'm going to hit create walls. I'm going to bring my mouse over to one of my intersecting walls. And you'll notice that when I intersect the walls, I have this, first of all, my, my bold crosshair then turns into a bold crosshair with a with another large crosshair underneath it that lets me know that I'm, I'm lined up perfectly with the intersection of those two walls so once i see that large crosshair underneath my bolded crosshair i'm going to left click once and i'm going to go to each corner until i see that large crosshair appear and i'm going to trace my first level hit escape to get out of my wall command and if we look in the 3d view you'll see that i now have a uh, second floor wall stacked on top of my first floor wall. Okay, but in order to get to my second floor from my first floor, we need to add some stairs. Okay, so all I'm going to do is go back to level zero. You notice when I toggle between my different levels, it actually changes in my 3D view, helps keep things a little cleaner. And I'm going to bring over a simple staircase. And if I look in my asset library, uh, there's actually a folder just for staircases, which is convenient. And I'm just going to take just any old straight staircase. And I'm going to take this staircase and I'm going to snap it to this wall. And I'm going to rotate it. And we'll do something like that. However your design needs it. Okay. So now this is where um, there's a couple of different ways that we can add a floor for our second floor. Because now if I go to the second floor, I have stairs, but it kind of you know, will fall right off if we don't have a floor. So here's a little trick that I like to use. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to level zero and my final design, I want to have a nice open staircase. I like that look, but to make sure that my second floor lines up the way that I want it to, I'm going to put in some temporary walls. So while I'm in my first floor, I'm going to go to create walls and I'm going to zoom in a little bit here to zoom in. I'm pressing and holding control and mousing up with my mouse wheel. And I'm just going to create a wall that goes right around my stairs. This is only temporary, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to level one, which in this case is my second level. And now you see that I have this ghosted out wall section here that I'm gonna trace over. So again, I'm still in my wall command. So now I'm gonna trace over those walls. Again, these are gonna be temporary as well. Because now what that allows me to do is that allows me to create my floor on my second floor by using my create room option. So I'm going to click on create room, then I'm going to double click inside of my second floor. And you notice that it added a floor everywhere except for where I put the walls. Okay. Now we could do this without adding these temporary walls, but it's a little more cumbersome to do this. But I like doing it like this. Now, since these walls only need to be temporary, now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to delete them. I don't want to delete my staircase, just my walls. And as I delete them, my floor isn't going to change or my room isn't going to change. So there's my second floor walls deleted. I'm going to go and delete my first floor walls. Okay, so 
So now if I go back to level two and look in my 3D view, I now have an opening that goes into um, my second floor. All right, if I take and I change my view, modify 3D view and do some transparency here, you'll see that I have that opening in the floor that goes from the first floor up to the second floor. Okay, so that's how to add a second floor, and you could do this with multiple levels. So I could call level zero my basement, and then first floor, second floor, you can have as many floors as you would like. All right, so let's show, I want to show you another option here, and that's adding um, or taking some nice, nicer pictures than just our, our normal 2D and 3D view. Okay, so to do this, I'm just going to kick down to level zero just because I already have some colors and textures in there, and I'm not going to get too crazy. I'm just going to throw in some, uh, actually, let's go to the living room. And I'm just going to throw in some arbitrary items here just to say that we did so we can have a, a visualization. And throw in some windows. Tried and true five panes. And let's just throw in a couple characters. A boy standing there and a dog right here okay good enough so we already know how to do all this from from the, the basic sweet home 3d intro and we also know that in our 3d view we can you know zoom in we could also go into our uh, virtual visit mode and drag our person over and let's say we'll, we'll do close let's back up a little bit Okay, so this is great. We could take a, a snip of this and, and represent what we want, but there we can do higher quality images than this. And actually, you know what, while we're in here, what I want to do is I want to put a little bit of a, put some grass and whatnot in the foreground, some little texture, some grass out there, change the texture of my sky to an actual sky, just because we have a window, we can actually see what's going on. Cloudy sky. Okay, so now another tool that we have up in our toolbar is create photo from a 3D view. So what that does is any time, or th this, this creates a higher resolution image of anything that is in our 3D view window. So in this case, it's gonna be more of that virtual visitor mode. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is click on create photo from 3D view, and we could change the size of our um, images um, you know, based on pixels. We could also pick you know, for 3D aspect ratio, and we could pick the quality. Okay, so at first I'm going to just start with a with a fast quality and just hit create. And you'll notice that in my uh, preview screen here, it looks about the same as what I have in my 3D image, right? So let's try making it a little better. I'm just going to crank it right up to best and see what happens. So I'll pop it up to best and I'm going to hit create. It's going to take a moment to render. And now you see that we have a higher... Um, resolution image including um, you know shadows with the dog the with the sofa is a little more refined the chair has reflection okay and there's a couple different ways that I can get this over into my project I could take a snip of this or I can save this image which I'll do just so I show you an example and if I go to my desktop drag this over and the resolution is a little small but as you can see there's a little more detail with the dog and with the with, with the textures and whatnot. So this is another way um, just to add that little, little extra to your project. Um, and this is what we'll be looking for going forward on your project. And I encourage you to, uh, you know, to play around with some of these settings, such as adding ceiling lights or even just the, the lens type. Right? So if I go to lens and I do something like, I don't know, like a fisheye lens and do create. Notice we get that fisheye lens effect, or if I switch it to spherical, almost has like that VR feel to it. So go ahead and play around with these settings. You're not going to hurt anything by, by exploring these settings and, and um, trying uh, different textures, different lighting, uh, different colors and, and placement of your, of your objects to um, really showcase your designs.